Hey guys, it's Maisha here. We're not going to waste any time, so we're going to get right into the tutorial. So my eyebrows are already done. To prime my eyelids, I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Then I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Medium Beige, and I'm using it to highlight underneath my brow bone, and I'm just blending it out. Taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm using the light shade as a base for my eyeshadow and I'm putting it right underneath my brow bone and all over my eyelid. Now I'm using the BH Cosmetics 252 Ultimate Palette. I'm going in with this purple shade right in the crease and I'm just blending it out. Then I'm going to take this magenta pink shade and I'm going to apply it right over the purple inside my crease and I'm going to blend, blend, blend it out. Next I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Medium Beige. And here I'm carving out um, my eyelid for my cut crease. It doesn't have to be very perfect. And if you see, I got some concealer over my crease, so I just used shadow to clean it up. Next, I'm using the Morphe 35U palette. I'm going in with this peach color right in the corners of my eye. Um, and I'm just really packing that shadow on there to make sure that it's it stands out and Next I'm taking the urban decay electric palette the color is savage It's this pretty bright pink and I'm just gonna take it and put it right in the middle of my crease Slightly over the peach color just to blend it in so it looks seamless Maybe guilty but proud now I'm going in with the Morphe 35U palette and I'm using this bright red, um, it's kind of a pink shade and I'm just applying that on the ends of my eyelid now and you just want to keep packing it on to make sure that the color is nice and intense and as dark as you can make it and blend it into the pink from the electric palette. So I'm just working it in, packing it on and really blending it. Now I'm taking an angled brush and I'm using this dark purple shade from the same Morphe palette and I'm just intensifying the crease so I'm pretty much creating a harsh line right in the crease. Now I'm using the exact same shade but instead I'm using a fluffier brush and I'm blending out the crease. I'm using MAC Into the Well Eyeshadow for eyeliner and this is what I'm using to create a wing. Sometimes I have like good wing days where it goes on really nice and this day I was definitely having a struggle wing day. Like I just couldn't get the angles right. Now I'm going back in with the pink shade from the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just intensifying all the colors at this moment. So I'm blending it out so it's nice and seamless with the color that's right underneath my brows. Now I'm just going in again with the same dark purple shade from the Morphe palette and I'm really just intensifying all the colors. You want to make sure that your colors are bright and vibrant. To apply the gems, I start by dipping my brush inside of the glue. I then use the brush to pick up the gem from the back. And then I position the gem on the place of my eye where I want it. I use my finger to press the gem down. It slides right off the brush and then I just use the back of the brush to press it down on my skin. And again, so I dip the brush in the glue. I pick up the gem from the back 
I position it on my eye where I want it. Then I use my finger to press the gem down onto my skin where I want it. I just kind of had a fail here. It didn't go down, but you just try it right again. You use your finger and then you use the back of the brush to press it down into the skin and put it into the position it needs to be in. It dries super duper fast. I created a design using big and small gems, alternating the colors with the pink and silver. You can get creative and do anything you want. So my scars are all concealed and now I'm applying my foundation which is like three shades too light for my face. Um, I mixed two shades together and it was a terrible mixture. It was supposed to be good and it didn't work out. Um, I think I put too much of the light shade. Anyways, I'm speeding through my foundation. I wanted this tutorial to be focused mainly on the eyes. Um, I'll create a separate video with my foundation, highlight, and contour routine, but for now, I'm just going to speed through the whole thing. I have my foundation on, I'm applying my highlight, um, and I'm just blending that out right now. I always love to go in with a brighter shade once I'm done my first layer of concealer and that just adds an extra highlight that I love so very much. Now I'm setting my highlight with my Sasha Buttercup. I'm allowed to tell you guys a little bit of what I'm doing. I know I'm not going in depth and in detail with um, my highlight and contour, but I'm using my Anastasia Contour Kit in medium and tan, and I am sculpting my cheekbones and giving myself a smaller forehead. My, my forehead's not that big, is it? Okay, let me not ask anyway. Um, I'm sculpting my cheekbones and I'm giving my face some dimension because it was flat like a pancake. And now I'm giving myself a nose because I do not have a nose. I'm just kidding. I am contouring my nose. Now I'm using my favorite powder, my Micro Smooth Powder, just to blend everything out. And again, when I do my foundation and contour routine, I'll really go in depth of how I use the products, why I use them. Um, but for now, I'm really just skimming through it all. Okay, so I got my ColourPop lippies, a very small brush, and I am drawing in my hearts. Now, I don't know the best way to explain how to draw hearts. Um, you can kind of see how I'm doing it and follow. I don't just draw the heart immediately. I start by drawing like one half of the heart, um, and then I draw the other half connect it to the bottom and then I fix it up after so it's almost like I'm drawing like a circle and a stick going downwards for the end of the heart and then I draw another circle on the other side and then I bring the stick down so again little circle with a stick it's like a raindrop and then you draw another one on the other side I know a lot of people actually told me that they have a hard time drawing hearts and that's completely fine I would say practice on your hand a couple times before. Try to perfect it the best that you can and then start doing it on your face. And in case you do mess up, you always know that you can use a bit of concealer to clean up the edges. It's really hard explaining this, like stick, teardrop, I don't know, like just draw some hearts. <laughs> now I'm just dabbing in some glitter from BH Cosmetics to give it a little sparkle. 
and I'm going in with the same pink shadow um, from the electric palette underneath my lash line. Okay, beauties, that is it for my tutorial. I hope you all really enjoyed it and you learned something new. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below. I hope you all have a really sweet Valentine's Day this year and I'll see you guys soon.